Scav here from DartsPlanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. And today I'm bringing you Day 12 schedule, stats and my predictions from the World Starts Championship in the Alley Pally, which is on Thursday, December the 28th, which is today from 12.30pm and an evening session from 7pm. Each of these sessions have three round three matches in, which are all best of seven sets. So I'm just going to take you from yesterday. My predictions were bloody terrible. I, I just didn't see some of them coming, do you know what I mean? I was sitting there thinking, where did that come from from Jamie Lewis? It was it was amazing. I thought he was going to beat the bloody uh, record for round two stats. Do you know what I mean? Three dart average. It was insane the amount of 180s he was hitting. I know a lot of people said he can do it on the floor and different things. I've not seen it. I think it's going to open up loads of doors for him. Um, so... I just want to run through the matches today, really. Hopefully my predictions are going to be a little bit better. The reason I'm doing, as always, in case some of you missed um, other videos, is because I want to bring the stats into it. I think it makes it a little bit more fun for the matches going forward as well. So the opening session starts at 12.30, as you can see here. It is between Tony Alcinas and Darren Webster. Can I just say before I do that, actually, Tony Alcinas, Darren Webster, Jamie Lewis or James Richardson... One of them is going to be in the World Darts Championship semi-final. I bet they're all sitting there like this now. I know I would be. All that money. It's going to be a big payday work, um, for one of them. Some good ranking points. And as we know, ranking points are carried over a two-year period, which takes a lot of pressure off them to stay in, you know, if they have a big payday and get in that top 16 or wherever they go. Do you know what I mean from there? It, it's it's good ranking points. So I'm going to go through the matches now. So the first match is Tony Alcins against Darren Webster. Uh, tough one to call this one. Alcins beat Munch yesterday 4-1. He had a free dart average of 91.11 and a checkout percentage of 33. 3.33, while uh, Darren Webster beat Whitlock 4-1. He had a free dart average of 90.2 and a checkout of 31.58. So actually, I've seen this between the two of them. It was very close yesterday. I did have the better um, checkout and free dart average. However, I think that Darren Webster's got a great opportunity here. I want him to do well. He's a local lad. And I think he's going to come through this one 4-2. We then go on to the next match, which is Mencia Solovich against uh, Dimitri Vandenberg. Now, I'm a massive Mencia Solovich fan. In round two, he beat Thornton 4-2. He had a free dart average of 90.66 and a checkout of 45.16. Dimitri um, Vandenberg beat Jan Decker 4-2. He had a free dart average of 94.91 and a checkout of 53.85. Now, that is not a big enough average for Solovich. You know, he hits a lot bigger averages than that. Dimitri is in fine form at the moment. His confidence is high. Normally, I would back Mensa. He's seeded or ranked number five in this. I would normally back him. But do you know what? There's something in my head telling me that this is going to be his lot today. I think that Dimitri van der Berg is going to come through this one. He's already put two top players out. I think he's going to put another one out today. And he's going to win this one. 4-3. We then go on to the final match of the day. It's against Hendo. It's Hendo against Rob Cross. Um, John Henderson beat Gurney in the last round in a great match. He won 4-2. He had a free dart average of 95.89 and a checkout percentage of 46.67. While Rob Cross survived match darts, I think it was two match darts against Michael Smith in a thriller. He beat him 4-3. Um, Rob Cross had an average of 102.56, a checkout percentage of 38.71%. He hit, there was he had, let's say, it was 30 180s hitting the match. Cross hit 16 180s. Yes, he survived match darts, but Cross is the real deal. Hendo against Gurney was brilliant. He went two sets to nil up. Gurney brought it back to two all, and I could see Gurney going on to win. But Hendo again went um, on, played some good darts to get through 4-2. But I think it's going to be too much for Hendo today. And as much as I like Hendo, I'm going to have to go for a Cross win. I think Cross wins this one. Four, two. So as you can see, they are my predictions for the afternoon session and what an afternoon session is going to be. So don't miss that. It's on at 12.30. Um, the evening session then starts at 7pm. The opening match for that is Jamie Lewis against James Richardson. Where did that come from? Jamie Lewis yesterday, he beat Peter Wright, seeded number two, 4 1. He had a free dart average of 107.27, checkout percentage of 53.85. He hit 16 140s and 13 180s. It was, it was insane to watch. You know, at one point, I think he was um, 
in, in the last set. It's averaging like 111, 112. I thought the record was going to go in um, for, the, for the round two match. Obviously, it didn't, but 107.27. He's got James Richardson, who beat Norris yesterday 4-1. He had a free dart average of 86.78 and a check out of 28.57. Now, that is nowhere near good enough to get anywhere near Jamie Lewis if he's going to be playing like that. Yes, I think Richardson will raise his game. It wasn't a great match between him and Norris yesterday, if I'm being honest. Um... But I'm still, I'm going to go for Richardson. He's got this fight. He, as I said earlier, one of these guys has got a chance to get to the semi-final. I think he's going to give it his all. He'll nick a couple of sets. But Jamie Lewis, I think after yesterday, is going to win that one. 4-2. We then go on to Phil DePower Taylor against Keegan Brown. Is Keegan Brown going to end Phil Taylor's career this evening? Add your comments below. What do you think? Is this the last time that we see Phil Taylor on telly? Check out my other Phil Taylor route to the final video. I've got it on YouTube. It's easy to search for. But each match, the pressure's mountain. Keegan Brown, we know, when he's on, is, is a really, really good player. This could be a little obstacle for Taylor. I have gone Taylor to win this one. Let's have a look. Taylor in the last round beat Pipe, which I'm glad he did. Um, four nearly had a free dart average of 99.37 and a check out of 54.55, but he only had two 180s. Only two 180s in that. Yes, it was for four, just four sets, but still not held back. Keegan V, um, Zoran Lurch back of 4 2. He had a free dart average of 87.65 and a check out of 32.56. That's not good enough to beat Taylor. He needs to play like he did in his first match and he'll give himself a chance. However, I think that Taylor's still going to come through this one. And he will put Keegan Brown to the side and he will continue his quest to win 17 times world champion and he'll win 4-2. We've then gone to the final game of the evening which is Gary Anderson against Steve West. Gary Anderson in the last round beat Paul Lim 4-1. He had a free dart average of 97.46 and a checkout of 36.11. While Steve West beat Jermaine Watamina, he had a free dart average of 87.92 and a checkout of 50%. Uh, we know Steve West is going to have to up it to stay with Gary Anderson. He's going to have to because Anderson's going to come out um, and play at the level he always does in the Worlds. It means every the Worlds mean everything to Anderson. Everything. The other tournaments, mm, I'm not saying it's just simple, but it can take on him, but the Worlds mean everything. West is going to have to be on fire today to get anywhere near him. I think that Gary Anderson, however, is going to come through this one and uh, he'll beat Steve West 4-2. And if I'm right, as per my other video, it will line up a court final uh, between Phil Taylor and Gary Anderson. There we go. How awesome would that be? And that's where Anderson would end Taylor's career, I think. No, these are just my predictions. But anyway, guys, so they are my predictions for the evening session. That is from 7 p.m. Again, it's from on Thursday, December 28th, which is today. Uh, as always, guys, please leave your comments below. I'll get back to you. Some of you had some great predictions yesterday. Thanks, as always, for watching the video. If you do like it, leave a like. Please share and don't forget to subscribe. Don't also forget to check out dartsplanet.tv. Um, there's quite a few videos going on there from the world again, interviews, um, and some of the, the um, highlights and different things. So, as always, guys, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you tomorrow for day 13 of the World Starts Championship. And until then, guys, bye.